Dimp Digital presents Idle Game Chat. Cool. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1. It's in our blood. Discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the fire god Liu Kang. Liu Kang. Liu, I didn't cock that up. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise of a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. That's all the PlayStation Store had. I don't know if you played it on PlayStation, but... I did indeed. PlayStation yeah, so 5. On the PS5, but that's you know, that's that's not very in-depth and give us a lot to go off. That but, isn't um, good fucking at all. No. But the interesting thing that they... I remember seeing this about there being like a bit of a reboot from that. Did you play 11? From, from, I didn't know. Yeah. What did no. you play? You did play some... No, I played the... Um, um, what's it called? The... Mark, DC, what they, whatever oh, they... Oh, yeah, Injustice, didn't you? That's it. That you was played from... one, one and two. Yeah. You did, didn't you? Yeah, got through, shit, yeah. got through both of those bad boys. And then, yeah, yeah I, just, I think at that point Kombat. it was in the middle of a Mortal Kombat arc and I was like, oh, I can't get involved. Then I saw this happening mm. and I was like, well, hang on a minute. But then here's the thing that put me off and I don't know whether this is even addressed in the game. Probably not because it's such a mental thing to even be concerned mm-hmm. about. The universe is created by the fire god Liu Kang. Mm. They're claiming it's re- you know a new era, all this stuff, mm. but surely Liu Kang knows what he's done, so it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens in the game, but that was always mm. my. It, mm. it, it wasn't like a, uh, yeah. a complete reset because there's one character that yeah. knows what's happened. So, uh-huh. and that's exactly <laughs> the moral of this game. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's wind back and look it's at some. It's a more... lie. Yes, it's, yeah, it's another. It's another permadeath. Yeah. Um, history of Mortal Kombat. I mean, you've played history. a fucking shitload of these. I and a lot of the fighting games, actually. I played every. No, that's a lie. I've not played every single one. I've played every main line. Yeah. Game. There was a lull in the middle. I didn't play. I played. I played one on the. What have been? Fucking hell. Mega Drive. Master System? Yeah. Might be Master System. Yeah, I remember my older brother had it, one, and then I weren't really allowed to play it because it was gory. Should have got the <laughs> Nintendo version, the green blood. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I played that too. I even, there's a picture of me. I don't know was where. it Sweat? What do they do? I think it was green blood. The green blood might have been, to be yeah. fair. Um, sweat. And then, yeah, I oh, there's a picture of me as a kid with a Mortal Kombat 2 T-shirt on. <laughs> to dig that out somewhere. As far as they made them for kids back then. I know, exactly. Um, three, then three I got on the Mega Drive. And then four, I think I missed four. Four was like the snares, I think. Armageddon, that was called. Four. And then that's when they started going into the weird ones. They done like a fucking Sub Zero game. Mm. Uh, five was a bit iffy. Um, and then, yeah, it went on from there. And then I think, yeah, I had a bit of a lull and then I picked it back up when it rebooted. Oh, no, I'll tell you what. No, actually, I picked it back up on the 360 when they did, like, the first Injustice type thing. They did a game called Marvel versus the DC Universe. Oh, okay. That's Marvel. Sorry, fucking Mortal Kombat. Imagine that. Marvel (laughs) vs. DC. That would be good. Get that. They did do a little comic run, I think, years ago. How about like WWE and AEW crossing over? Yeah. Do you see Tony's comments about that the other day? Saying that he'd yeah. be open to it. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, he said oh, he'd be open to it. He'd but be he open to does. the Harvey Weinstein of wrestling. <laughs> That's also his word, so. That's also his word. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's where I picked that back up, was that game. <clears throat> Didn't they, like, one. redo one of the arcs? Or was that Tekken? Yes. I get confused with those two, the, the game. Because Tekken's, like, one... F- complete well not complete story but it's like that's right yeah all yeah, the games is, yeah, are in sequence. Is one, yeah that's it 
I thought Mortal Kombat, they like retold. They said that's what they did, yeah. So they, okay. that, uh, there was a story from the beginning that's up it. to a point, and then they rebooted it with Nine, which was then called Mortal Kombat, which is where the one that was for PS4, three might even be free actually. So yeah, I got it on PC. Um, oh and that, was that the one that Mortal... ran weird, or was that? Yeah, uh, no, that was Ten. I think that was. Yeah, that was the one. Um, I remember a lot of people being pissed off that the X-ray was always in 30 FPS and the yeah, game ran in 60. I'm pretty sure that is in this. Yeah, it's, it might still be a thing that people just got yeah. over eventually, but yeah, the Switch version—that's the fucking epic one. Have you oh, seen that? Ma- yeah, that is embarrassing. <laughs> isn't it? No, one, no one comes out looking good in that. I just one bother. No. No, exactly that. So, yeah, so I've essentially played most of them. There's a yeah. couple of other things. Um, and, yeah, been a big fan of them. Loved the films as a kid as well. As cheesy and as terrible they are. The fucking well, I haven't seen the newest them. one. Oh, yeah. That, that's pretty good, Any actually. cock and ball in it? Because that seems to be a common theme on these latest batches. No, no. <laughs> there's no, no cock and ball. There's bosoms, maybe. You might see if fucking Melina's titty hanging oh, out. Okay. <laughs> if it's not no cock and ball, I'm not interested. So. He seems to get punched in the balls. <laughs> Johnny Cage does his splits and right. punches yeah. in the balls. But no cock and balls out. So, mm. watching that. Not worth running. watching then. Nah. Um, but yeah, so loved Let's it. check the thing. IMDB parental ratings now. And if there's no <laughs> cock and ball, so I won't be watching that. Then. <laughs> no point. Not on um, my watch. Wasn't there a Netflix series where they showed a... It wasn't a real erection, but like they... Showed like a man's actual. Oh, well, I did again, it was like that, prosthetic, yeah. but they really. And they were like, you can't do. Need that. to get what's it called? What's that? Um, Mark Wahlberg film, Saturday Night Fever. Oh, Boogie oh, Nights. That. Boogie yeah. Nights. That's, the one. Yes. that's that's a fake cock in it. That one. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I think there was massive. like a. There's like a cult sort of following saying, oh, that's, that's his real right. And he had to go, no, it's, <laughs> it's too long. It's not that. I'll tell you what. I was watching House of Dragon. Mm. And Your there is there. Cock a, everywhere. There's a there's a cock in mouth. Is there? Christ. Blimey, I've not watched season. I'd like to rewind yet. it to make sure. <laughs> Just a double share. I remember in Game of Thrones, I feel like I'm in the no, second from last season. There's a bit where it starts off in a brothel yeah. and it's like panning across all these tits. And like, you can just see the male audience just being like, oh, and then it just instantly switches to a bloke's cock. It's fucking brilliant. It just instantly just goes deep. Just instead of getting their oh. cacks down. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking brilliant. I should remember that scene very vividly. <laughs> um, but where, yeah. Where um, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah, so yeah, loved the games since day dot. Nine was the reboot. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, that's what they did. They had the story lean up to that. And then that was like um, a new set. Like they sort of referenced it. And this was yeah. going into a new era led by like Raiden back then. And then, yeah, so you had Nine, which is Mortal Kombat. And you had Mortal Kombat X, which is 10. Yeah. Then Mortal Kombat 11. And now this one, which is a reboot, mm. which carries on from the events of Eleven. Yeah, yeah and I they wouldn't yeah. get to it fully. It was just always. So I think the trouble with me, what I did, I when this was announced, I was like all oh, proper hyped and was yeah. like wicked. Got into it. So what I then done is because I played Eleven on the PS4. Yeah. Um, I, and then they released a PS5 version because they released a DLC. With didn't they? They'd done like a new DLC story. Um, so bought that, and that came with the PS5 enhanced version. So I played this. So I played 11, like replay through the story, played the new DLC, and then played a bunch of it just before Mortal Kombat 1 was released. So by the time Mortal Kombat 1 was released, I was all like Mortal Kombat out. You so I was like, oh, it. I didn't want to get it. So when did this come out? Was this... Uh, I think it was year? September last year. Oh, was it September, was it? Yeah. So, yeah, so I didn't get it, and I've only, I just got it. When did I get it? Oh, in May I got this. I was mm. bought it for the wedding anniversary. <laughs> was it wedding? No, it wasn't. It was Father's Day, tell oh. me. Father's Day, not wedding. That would have been a weird present. Here's Mortal Kombat <laughs> to symbolise our marriage. <laughs> it was Father's Day, that was it. Yeah, whenever that was. I don't know when the fuck that was. But yeah, Father's Day gift was Mortal Kombat 1. And then, yeah, just recently played through it. 
And I've got to say, my time with it was fucking boring. Oh, shit. <laughs> So what did you did you just play for the story? Did you so go I online? Played, did you do? So it's got two modes. So it's got um well I think, you know, it's got a few modes I suppose. I, yeah. I have not played this online. That's not really my jam to be no. honest. I used to play a little bit. And you got have that PS Plus. So you know, no, exactly. Yeah, exactly that. So I haven't got that. Um, I used to play. I think play ten and eleven with Salmon for a little bit. He's pretty good at fighting games. And yeah. Um, I don't Adcock's think he's good this. at Street Fighter. Oh, is he? I don't think he played I bought that as well the other day for 15 quid off game. Get on that a world tour book mode. version. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a go, but after this, it's sort of sound <laughs> like great for the fighting games. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so you've got your standard exhibition fighting, then you've got your towers, which is, you know, you're going through a, a level of towers and you get yeah. a little story at the end, which I quite like that. Uh, the campaign, which is just like a story, which is synonymous now with every Mortal Kombat thing and a new mode because remember they had a crypt in the last yeah. you remember that you had like this little crypt that used to go through and unlock things and this it reminded me this of one. like the um, I think it was Doom yes that had that ship that you had you that's, unlock little figures that's right. and things from the past games and exactly like that yeah. that's right so it was essentially like that mm. um so this the new version is called Invasion Mode, which to be honest, this is probably the most fun part of the game I found. Okay. And it's it's almost like a ball game, but not. So you like you choose a character. And the big thing about this game is now it's like a tag team game. So you have uh, another oh, yes. like, a legacy yeah. character that is like an assist you. So Yes. It, you have your main character and then you've got like old characters so it'd be like scorpion but it'll be like the old versions like mortal kombat 1 mortal kombat 2 and all thing and they just sort of you press like r1 and then through the battle you can like integrate these into a combat uh, into a combo and stuff so you can have them do that um but what happens is every time you fight and go through a, 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 a you get a currency they also level up and then each character has like a fucking um battle pass and they unlock con cosmetics for said character so it's a lot of sort of fucking yeah just playing matches just to upgrade this and get all these little com um cosmetics for your character but they've they just really dumbed down like in 11 the customization was quality you could change everything you had all different gear you could change like scorpion's mask you could change his fucking spear you could change his clothes like they they have bits of that in this but not that much and yeah not as cool it's like only a few skins a lot of it's very like locked behind paywalls for the cool skins um and yeah, so this, but this um, in, invasion mode, this this is like a seasonal thing as well. Yeah. Already on like season three or four, whatever it is. Um, and what it does, it has these different maps. There's like five or six maps. And you, it's like a, um, oh, yep. Yeah. Is it like, I think it's Injustice 2, they had like a multiverses mode where it would, oh, yeah. you, you could choose... Like a, it's something, I think you could choose well, a map and it'll put you into an encounter with a it. with a modifier of sorts. That's it. Yeah, and you yeah. get gear off the back of it that you could that's add to. That's it. It's exactly like that. Okay. But the way it works is like a ball game. So you interesting. It's like a little le, le, like a li, lineal path. So you're literally on like a fucking path, and there's like stops. So it'll be like a there'll be a fight each stop, and then or a test your strength. Uh, thing like that but you can only like you have to win that fight to get to the next spot so you have to do that to, and you have to progress and then you have a level mm. which you have to go up and then you can unlock relics and stuff um yeah it's, but it's really cool because it's just like you're just fighting different it's all variants like you're not fighting just the standard characters yeah they like mash the characters together so you'll be fighting like a sub-zero scorpion that's Ooh. got both fire well, and it looks ice. like a sub-zero scorpion yeah, oh. yeah mix it mix it's really cool but you don't have access to you can't no. play as those you just fight against them does it have um, like map modifiers like if you jump it, so yeah. high there's toxic gas or I don't that's know what doing, it. yeah stuff yeah. like that falling fucking that's bombs it. and yeah. stuff like that 
Um, so yeah, so that's the best part of the game, like just going through that, leveling up your characters, and yeah. then leveling up your thing. And then I've not completed that because you have to complete. There's like there's like five or six worlds, and you have to complete all of those, like get through to hundred percent. And then there's like a big boss at the end, but you have to do that within a season. Um, oh, so yeah, that's right. that's yeah. probably the most fun I've had playing through this. What I fucking found dull as shit is that story mode. I don't know why, from the get-go, I was instantly bored. I, don't, I love these fucking games. I love fighting games. I love the Mortal Kombat franchise. But from the second it started, I was just... I don't know what they've done to it. But if you just type into Google, which I've done many times... Is Mortal Kombat 1 boring? Mm. There is so much stuff on it. It says, yes, yes, it is. I don't know what they've done. They've tried... Like, Another so Realm, they... like, they're the ones that came up, in my view, with, like, the best fighting game story modes. Like, yeah. like the Injustices, like, the, the other Mortal yeah. Kombat games. That came 11 with. was phenomenal. Yeah. 11 was phenomenal. 10 it made was all brilliant. the others up their game. Yeah, it, it made did. Tekken up the game. It made, well, Street Fighter still... Struggling, yeah. I think, to, they've gone for some Yakuza thing, but yeah, like, that's true. They weren't trying before, really. Nah. I mean, Tekken probably was, but you know, yeah. Street Fighter certainly wasn't. And then Never Realm come out with you know, Injustice nah. and the Mortal Kombat games, and it was like these nah. are actual good narratives for people exactly to play through. For once. They're not just throwaway toot, no, nah, exactly. And like, you know, there's only so much you can do with a fighting game story, um, but yeah, when the story's fucking dull as dishwater. <laughs> And just uh, like it's, hard, I, I won't go into it because it's spoilers. But just the direction they take it, I just wanted to fucking hang myself by the end of it. <laughs> it was so boring and dull, and just done a thousand times. Just so, uh, the, was, so the attempted reboot perhaps wasn't the, the nah, hindsight. Wasn't I don't know what did. the fuck they were doing. And yeah, just I was just like, what, what. Uh, why? I just kept questioning. I was like, "Why am I not enjoying this? Mm. Like, this is I, I normally enjoy this type of game. It's brilliant." Um, but yeah, and uh, and then with the game as well, like the yep. actual, you know, they've made it more for the hardcore fans. Like the the God on the opposite like, of Diablo. Yeah, they've done the complete. They've they've gone all in on this. Is such a combo based game. Yeah. You can. I, I had it on one time. Put it down to the easiest setting just to see what it was like. And I was getting my ass kicked because yeah. they were doing these fucking twenty hit combos. But it is. It this game is set for the fucking e gamers that do all the fucking Evo and stuff. Mm. They're like the the. It is. It's a. It's a difficult game to master. Oh like, yeah. yeah. I was getting through it, but fucking just fucking tripping people up and uppercutting because it takes yeah. so much hell for. <laughs> I was like trying to learn combos, but I think I managed. I think one of them I was really impressed. I got to about six or seven, uh, and I was like, "Fuck it!" But even exactly, even so, then I'll get hit with an like eleven hit combo. I go for fuck's sake! Does it offer it, any sort of like training or it does? Tutorials yeah, but it's fucking that... hard. They're too hard. Yeah. Like, I, you've got like the standard one, which is lows. You get like points because I started doing it because you get points for doing them. And then it has like character based ones where you start to learn the combos, but the combos are so fucking intricate and the windows of fucking things you have to do. You have to like do a combo, then uppercut them in the air, at the same time using another fucking move to keep mm. them up in the air, then get your fucking assist character in to fucking leverage them up in the air. And yeah, I was just like, by the end of it, I was like, fuck me, what is this? It's, it's too hard for a. a casual like me you have to be a fucking evo player to fucking play this but happy I think could... father's day they say <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> fuck's sake and i had high hopes because the fuck it I, I, the reason i did wait for it as well is because i wanted to buy the premium edition because the um no they, they still fucking about all the fighter packs i assume the right? fighter packs yeah, yeah which i fucking hate but this this fighter pack the collection of it was fucking brilliant it had Homelander, which I wanted to fucking yeah, think. Okay, the yeah, boys. That's cool. I had John Cena playing, uh, what was his thing in Suicide Squad? Um, that he'd done a TV show, didn't he? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that, um, whatever he was. I forget his name now. Um, yeah, had him. Um, Omi Man, which is like another Homelander, essentially. Um, that Invincible Peace series. Maker. Peacemaker, that was it. Had him, and then three old Tekken characters, um, which what? I would like to see: Quan Chi, Takeda, and 
Ermac. Was it Ermac? Yeah, it was Ermac. Yeah. That's fucking interesting. Yeah, so I was like, cool, that's what I want to get. And then yeah. it finally came down in price. It was like 50, because it was like 80 quid. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, Christ, I ain't paying that. And then I was like, well, I see that the sale, it went on sale, the the um, the battle, uh, the fucking fighter pack. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll pick that up. And then fucking that's so I got the standard edition for the thing. And I wish I fucking hadn't, because... Yeah, I've got to say that I was just was so, I like, just playing it, and I was like, I don't care. I don't know why. It wasn't even like because I was in a mood that day. I played it over multiple consecutive days. Ninety it's, quid it's retailing for that premium yeah, edition online. That's, that's, mad, that's the RRP it? for it. Fucking hell! Is it really? Fucking it's thirty-five hell. or thirty-six quid as we record this. But yeah, I mean, it was at, oh, at, at release when they did that. It was like, yep. Yeah, I think I paid, bones. I think she paid twenty for this. I think. Yeah, well, even that one's uh, too standard. steep. What might have been? Um, yeah, oh yeah, it would have been. Yeah, twenty, twenty something anyway. Mm. But yeah, so yeah, just the story. The what I like to say, I won't go into details because it's spoilers. But just the story was just so meh, boring, dull. The characters they just watered down these characters that just uninspired. So it wasn't because they've re because he set this new universe up. Mm. Do they like? So one of the things they did, I don't know if you remember, like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Yeah. Like old characters, because it's like a dimensional split between mm. like Ratchet's timeline. Is it, what's her name? Rich? What's her uh, name? Rich, Rich. Ra- Ra- Rivet? 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 Uh, Rivet, Rivet, that's Rivet. it. Rivet. That and then you've got her universe that she lives in. Yeah. And they've got the same characters. They've got different personalities. And there's, there's a, it's almost like, oh, you compare the two. It's quite funny because you know how... Mm. Captain, whoever normally acts, and then in her in her universe, he's completely different. Yeah, are the characters in this like that? Are they still how they were before the sort of no. new world, or is it just no? So it start it starts off with like this is completely blank slate apart hmm. from Liu Kang. So you've just got Liu Kang sitting there, who's the fire god, and then you've just got all these characters that you know, but are like these weefier versions of themselves. Right, yeah. And then as it sort of story progresses then in comes in the story the way they decided to take the story which <laughs> i say it's it's the pivotal part of the story so i don't want to say what it yeah. is but He's it just accurate, it? no i just i was like what i thought this was going to be a fucking like i thought we was going to have a complete go back to pond and take this in a whole new direction and then that's it you know then we've got some new takes but just even like my one of my favorite characters in this get in this whole entire franchise is reptile mm. and they've turned him into a fucking donut as well <laughs> i was like oh for god's sake it's just i don't i don't know why it's like just gen z versions of all these kids <laughs> basically yeah it is but it's it's not like anything... They're just boring, all of them. Yeah. I don't know why. There's, there's no charisma about the characters. There's He's nothing... Finchie in there doing the VO. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why, like, fucking... Like, Tekken, you've got fucking characters chucking their dads into volcanoes yeah. and crazy shit. Yeah. This is just, like, mundane fucking... Just boring battles. But, yeah, it just... It just annoyed me. the washing up. It? Do it yourself, I've got to say something. <laughs> I was, there was like that, yeah, exactly. Like, there was, not, like, Johnny Cage is like the comic relief. Yeah. And even he weren't funny, it was dreadful. <laughs> I was like, oh. The only good thing about this game is how good it looks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thing. yeah, I mean, I forgot about how the fucking graphics on this thing the is graphic, insane. Fucking shot me the most. Went to install it, 174 <laughs> gigabytes oh. this game is. A hundred and seven. To be fair, I did download. I think it was a dish. I think that was about fifty gig. It was for all the cutscenes to be like in four K. Yeah, so like, oh, oh, yeah. When when it goes in, like it does in game cutscenes, but then you can see like the pre rendered ones. It brings yeah. it up level. Nice. Um, and yes, but that increase. So it's over a hundred gig on its own, and yeah. then that a hundred and seventy four for a basic fucking. Shit game. I was like, fuck me. But I've got to say, the graphics, I was playing it. I was like, God, the levels, as much as you don't really look at the levels because you're concentrating mm-hmm. on what you're fighting, you don't really get to look in the background. But when you do, I was like, cool, it really is gorgeous. And I've got to say, like, the cutscenes and stuff, as much as they were dull as dishwater, 
the actual like the facial animations and the fucking what's it called the animations of what they do the fight choreated fights and stuff they are cool mm. but they're just the story the characters the fucking i oh, just I don't know why I fucking hated it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what have you done to Mortal Kombat? <laughs> In terms of the visuals, are they better than Tekken 8? Because that looks only... fucking incredible yeah, that as well. Yeah, that looks fucking incredible. To be I haven't played that yet. I've only played the demo. That's, okay. one, that's one that's I nearly bought it the other day because it was 30 quid in Smiths. And I went to Smiths and it's gone back up again. So yeah. I bought Prince of Persia instead for £20. <laughs> wow. Um, so we'll, we'll see if I get further than beef. Beef. Yeah, I'll see if I get further than beef. But yeah, so yeah, it's hard to compare because I only played the demo. Fair but enough. to be fair, from that, I'd probably give it to this. This is like okay. wow, probably the best looking fighting game I've ever played. Just just a travesty that the fucking story, <laughs> gameplay, and fucking rest of it's took the fucking shit. <laughs> Do you have any? Um, was it? Is it technically sound? I mean, it looks great. Sound, but, yeah, but it looks no great. Problems. Runs perfectly fine. It runs at 60, which is yeah. lovely. I'm sure those x rays still do go down a bit, yeah. which, to be fair, they're in slow motion anyway. So it's not too distracting. It goes into fucking black and white or inverse or whatever it is. And it's sort of, it's not too jarring. It doesn't take away from anything. So, no, technically it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong there. I can dig it for. Graphically, it, it's stupendous. It just really is the fucking game. The game is just shit. It's just <laughs> dull as well. And they've just broke down like the the fun part of what it was of grinding for this that fucking gear and being able to change. They ha like I say, they have the the costumes and stuff, but like half of what you could get in the other stuff, it's now all sort of yeah. It's very money orientated because they've locked a lot of it behind. Um, microtransactions to get the good good stuff and then this invasion mode which like I say is seasonal mm. um that's the best part of the game because you're just going through like i say playing these um sort of like mix mash versions of each year and all these different um modifiers and stuff that's the funnest part of the game is, uh, the, is the monetization a bit shit in this, or is it? Well, Bear it, in mind the premium fun. packs, 80, 90 quid or whatever it is. Yeah. Like, and you still don't get every. Well, I assume there's still stuff you don't have to buy, but. No, you don't have cool to. Stuff no. still... It never forces you because it's all just cosmetic. Yeah, yeah that's stuff. true. There's, yeah. there's nothing like, you know, there's no helpers or XP no. boost or anything like that. It purely is just cosmetic but when that is the sole purpose of playing these games now is to you know make your characters look cooler um or like i know the best thing was, was like unlocking new brutalities and new fatalities and stuff like they're always fucking good that i've got to say like you have you have to give credit to that because you don't have to pay for those no, you don't have to get them, but you do have to play to unlock them. You literally yeah. have one okay. per character, and then the more you do, the more. So, that makes sense. but no, pressure. they don't lock anything like that behind. Did uh, they ever do that? I thought there was a controversy about something yeah, like that. Yeah, might Maybe have done to be fair. Bollocks. Um, but no, this is all just the just the cosmetic looks. But yeah, I just, oh, okay. I just wanted. I I went, like after having that fucking playing that mode i was like let me play as him that's amazing to be able to mash these characters together yeah and fucking play against them that'd like, be that cool would be, like, as an unlock that would be wouldn't, wicked, it? wouldn't it yeah mm. imagine fucking like playing like, a fucking version of yeah i don't know <laughs> raiden and sub zero fucking, exactly yeah it's a fucking quality or any game peacemaker like that. and homelander exactly it'd be fucking wicked no the negan leader, in this then shit. no negan no they've just the, just renounced the new um, fighter pack which has Scream in it or Ghostface <laughs> okay. uh, Conan the Barbarian is it Arnie is the model uh, Arnie is the model okay. I don't, I don't oh, yeah, think okay. he did the voice because he was he did Terminator last year didn't he for mm. 11 um, Reskin <laughs> who else is in it um, Conan and you'll get this as part of your premium you won't, well, you won't. If I buy the premium pack, you only get season one, so you have to buy this separate. Oh. But, that's the but then they're just going to release, and then the they're doing a, a new, there's a new story DLC coming, which carries okay. on from... And that's the, payable, we have to pay for that. A visible ending of, of this story, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's a so YouTube this is... jobby for you, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, it fucking will be, unless I see it in a bargain bin for five quid. To be fair, I didn't buy the old last one until the PS5 come out, so I probably no. will do the same. Because that's what they do, they release like four uh, fire packs, and then at the end of that, release a big fucking ultimate version of it that's got all the DLC and all the fire packs. Uh, this... I should have just fucking waited, because by then they've got new, different, there's a new animality thing where you turn into animals and kill people. Ooh. So I should have just fucking waited because this is just uh-huh. it is very basic as well. I remember people saying that about Street Fighter Five yeah. when that first came out. That was very bare bones and was very yeah. much made for the esports community. Um, and yeah, then it no weren't until else. they exactly yeah. And then they started to release story modes and characters. They had about eight it, versions. They had like a Champions Edition and all the right. stuff. Then they had I more they, stuff. Came out and said that they weren't going to do that this yeah, time. Yeah, they just did things. Yeah, just did the fucking things. So. Yeah, so yeah, I thought I struggled to find good things to say. Like the, the difficult thing is because of how good like the game is, like in terms of technical side, it's flaws. Like if you are a fucking uh, what they, what do they call them? Fucking e gamers <laughs> like the. The e savant, <laughs> yeah, the fucking pros that play online all the time. Um, there's a YouTuber nerds. I watch, uh, Maximilian dude. Have you ever watched yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he's really good. He's got so, some like, wild. I mean, you'd have to finish Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, mm. but there's like his videos on like the theories about. Oh, really? Especially with the the remake sort of arc that they started with that it's like yeah it's pretty well, um yeah he's quite good with that sort of stuff he does yeah. that in Elden ring um but yeah he's a very much a fighting game and i think i've seen him saying stuff that he's he's not a huge fan of this game yeah um but yeah i just i don't know like i say they've just sort of windled it down to now they're just pushing for those i suppose that's what they've got to do really but they've just sort of cut out the casuals they sort of stomped the mud on us and <laughs> It's, like I say, it's, it's a very... Did it dry. Diff- yeah. It really have made it difficult to be good at this game. It's a chore <laughs> to become art. Like, and, uh, Diablo, I feel like a king because I can fucking yeah. click heads. Whereas this, I feel like an absolute peasant playing yeah. it <laughs> because I'm not that good at doing these fucking 20-hit combos. You have to have, like, the fucking brain power of a fucking... What was that muscle memory you have to have? So yeah. you know exactly. But Don't know. Because I'm playing through the campaign, you're changing characters every fucking five fights. I'm like, right, I've got to learn a new combo now. Reminds me, I mean, this is these games are completely not close to that. But I remember WWF Warzone, WWF Attitude. All mm. the finishers were like impossible long combos. Oh yeah, yeah I remember. And then eventually they changed it to like one button in SmackDown. I think No Mercy. It was like holding was... two buttons. But I don't know what this obsession was with making the finishers. I think yeah. I think it actually came from the fatalities and they yeah, copied do, that over to so if you want to do a stun you have to do like up down left right circle square in like a split second and you couldn't do it and I was like this is, that is yeah what are we doing yeah it must be but yeah so just like I say not a still, happy home life for Mortal Kombat not a happy no no Father's Day fuck the kids they can have it back <laughs> well, I'll put you out your misery that's unless, mm. unless you have any more grievances or things you want to air but we can walk up to the gallery yeah, and the, get the this over with. About, it's about that invasions mode. I'd say yeah. that the best it part keeps of it. going back to it, but is it enough? Yeah, that's all I've got. <laughs> exactly, that's all, that's I've, all got. I've got. I mean, if if you're happy to play single player, I suppose like if there's a whole sex of this game, I'm missing out because I'm not an online player. Well, can you but... imagine playing it online with people that well, exactly, know how to do the combos? Well, exactly, you would, I'd get absolutely <laughs> willing. I'd be like, well, this game's even worse. <laughs> I mean, they've got some cool mode, like they have King of the Hill and stuff, so like yeah. Winner Stays On, that's quite fun. But again, like even more so now. I remember I played a couple of games on 9 on 11. I actually won a few. I was like, well, I have no confidence I would win a single fight on this because I know three hit combos, and that is it. <laughs> it's so against one of real shit. Out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. This. You'll have to get Albert to plug the second controller in. Just yeah. whip him. <laughs> just whip him. Just so I can feel good and go, yes. I'll still be doing two hit combos on him even going, stop <laughs> pressing the sweet button. <laughs> okay, yeah. right. We're outside the gaming gallery. We've got options yeah. to go in there and reward Mortal Kombat 1 with some level of 
medal, or it can go in self storage outside in the car park, which has uh, got a few cobwebs on it, but it's always open for business. So, mm. Mortal Kombat One on the PS Five does it earn itself a, a place in the coveted gaming gallery? So what's lower than bronze? It just goes in self storage outside. Right. Yeah, I think that's where it's going to go. <laughs> 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 yeah I, I, I wouldn't yeah. recommend this to anyone like yeah. like you like you've played played uh, un- uh, Injustice sorry and like that had some had, like great story great characters and a worth like that fucking whatever mode it was where you, in the multiverse mode yeah that was enjoyable like I think you'd enjoy invasion mode but again I think you'd play that story and you'll you'll be the same as me you'll be like well, this is fucking boring and yeah. predictable. And I'm getting my ass kicked here on easy. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm fucking, yeah. It's no 20... good. I'm not a combo machine. So, yeah. Well. I can't remember outside. the last time you put something in self I don't know, I think this is the first. I'm pretty, le- I'm quite a giving person. Yeah. Like, reviews always do tend to I go. Think, I don't think I've got anything on record. I'm just going back through the. Crypt. No, oh, Far Cry New Dawn. I remember that oh, one because of the <laughs> levelling, was wasn't it? The level gated, yeah, to fucking go back. <laughs> Let's go all the way back there. This did is get that, one. did it? Cool. I, yeah. I enjoyed playing New Dawn more than playing Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got the Avengers. Yeah, that that, that tracks. Do you remember that? that? Yeah. <laughs> Avengers. Anthem. Oh, um, yeah. Another shitter. Uh, no, no, no! I gave them both lower than bronze. Well, at the time well, we were doing time. scores, right? So yeah, and they were like under the seven, right? Which was like the cutoff. I think yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, how I, it definitely... out. they all got, they all got a uh, transfer. Yeah, got... on Open Creek. I don't know actually. I don't know. Maybe it was lower than Street Fighter. Was like ninety, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Street Fighter and Tekken both did pretty well. Yeah. This was yeah. Street Fighter 92. 84, so, I mean, that's fucking, that's pretty high. Fuck off. <laughs> um, what was it? Tekken 8, was it? Tekken 8. Can't spell Tekken, can I? The game. 90 for Tekken 8, and I oh, think yeah. Street Fighter got higher. Fuck me, PC Gamer 7. 6. 92 for Street Fighter 6. This was, like, a good oh. 6. Mm off the pace it's still a good score like in, in a vacuum but compared to those two that was a de- that's a definite mm. level or two down if you look at like the reviews Eurogamer Mortal Kombat 1 Invasion I oh, know there's something we just said about Invasion mode that is yeah oh Cameo system that's it that's the assistant that's the, yeah <laughs> so yeah it's. I mean it's a fun thing like I remember when they released Tekken Tag Tournament and that was like it was a different thing but it's fine but it doesn't really like all it's doing is they're not constant there. You literally press a button, they come out and do one move, and then they're on a cooldown, and yeah. then you can't use them for sort of ten seconds. So half the time, I forgot they were there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like it's fun because it adds more characters, but you don't play as them. You like say you just press one button. No. Uh, so it's IGN eight out of ten. So far, the cameo system of smart changes of the fighting make MK1 feel fresh and exciting. The smart, the story mode is predictably great. No, it ain't. <laughs> Even if Invasion <laughs> seems more of a grind, and I'm willing to put myself through to unlock the best cosmetic items. And hey, <laughs> he don't <laughs> like. He doesn't like what's it called? And he's saying the cameo system and smart changes up your fucking ass. Here we go, here's one that might... Slant Magazine, Justin Clark. Compared to just how expansive MK11 felt, even at launch, MK1 feels a bit like Street Fighter V at launch. At least the game is a fully-fledged campaign in arcade-style modes with fully-voiced endings, but there's a similar feeling of emptiness about it. The bad vibe to get... It's, this, that's a bad vibe to get, especially for the first major fighting game to launch in Street Fighter Six's shadow. It's true. When Street Fighter yeah, Six yeah. came out, that was the absolute king. Absolutely There's plenty right. of room for MK1 to expand, but as it stands, Mortal Kombat just tested its might on another reboot and may 
have broken something unnecessarily in the process, <laughs> alluding to your complaints. But yeah, not a, not a, not a good outing for Neverrealm. Oh, no, it's a shame because I fucking love them. I've loved all their games, but yeah. this one really left a sour fucking taste in my mouth. Not what he wanted. Be in it and get fucking back on that and getting justice free. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah, now. it's been a while since they've done one of those. Mm. Okay. Do you know what I almost nearly picked up the other day as well because it was 15 quid to a side squad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I I'll really tell you what, did. I've got it. Have you got Amazon Prime? Oh, no, I haven't. You did keep posting that. Yeah, yeah I've, I've I claimed got it, it, but whether, I'll in, whether it's worth the hard drive looks, space. Like it, I, I mean, that that's the thing. If I'm paying 15 quid, I'll give it a go. Yeah. It, looked, it looked weird as shit and is not, not what I was expecting from fucking thing. No. But... After this, I just want him justice free. Now I think you fuck this up. Chuck it in the bin and do a proper reboot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> start from scratch again. Go yes. nope, back it. again we go. <laughs> Self storage for Mortal Kombat One, disaster oh, for yeah. the Neverrealm boys. Hopefully they get back onto some sort of form in their their next outing so that Adkins can mm. enjoy it. We do something a little bit different to end this out. Catch Adkins cold. So normally we have voice notes for games that have been previously oh. spoken about and that is going to sort of happen i'm going to do the closing intro i'm then going to give you the signal and you're just going to live do, do the, the the dredge dredge voice yeah. notes so I'll, the music yeah. will play for the audience i'll come back i'll give you a hand signal they'll see you and then right. i won't say a word though right. just pretend i'm not here which would be interesting <laughs> but uh Nothing more for us to say. Well, we'll see you on the other side, I guess, technically, but that doesn't, that's not how the podcast end. Nothing more for us to say other than thanks for your time and ta -da. This was a Dimp Digital production. Hello, Atkins back again for my review of Dredge. I played this on the trusty Steam Deck of all consoles, no, devices. Um, I have no history with Dredge other than I come from a family, a fishing family. <laughs> my father-in-law is a trawlerman and my own father owns a boat so that's my history of the trade <laughs> um i in thoroughly enjoyed this game i thought it was a fun take on um the fishing game like normally you get these fishing simulator games where you're just going like, sat by a bank um and it's very rare that you actually get to go out on a boat it was a very stylized game. I like it. It's had that sort of indie feel about it, but it was a lovely looking game. Run smoother than a baby's bottom. Brilliant. Um, and yeah, it was quite interesting going around these little islands that you come across. Almost, yeah, it's essentially an open world. Um, popping around to different islands, fishing. Um, and then coming back and selling your fish to the markets and upgrading your boat and equipment to be able to go back out and catch bigger and larger fish and sell for more loot whilst uncovering a mysterious story throughout the game um, which has a day and night cycle which the mysteries of evil lurk in the night um, yeah, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, very simplistic game. Not much, you know, uh, in terms of having to do stuff. It's, it's quite an easily structured game. Um, no side quests and stuff. It's very much explore to your leisure. Uh, and quite a difficult game in terms of... Um, there ain't too much hand-holding on there. Um, it's 
sort of try and work it out for yourself. But explore exploration is rewarded. Um, but yeah, enjoyed. I thought the sound, like the atmosphere of the game, was very on on point. Um, there's no voice acting, but the characters that you meet um, were quite interesting. And like I say, there's a lot of mystery to this game that you you try and unearth, and it's all left to um, little conversations you have. But yeah, I enjoyed my time thoroughly. Um, I will give Dredge a lovely silver. Thanks for your time, and ta-da.